Well, the head is on. I gotta put the bolts in and everything, but the head's on. You see, it clears my starter perfectly. That's great news that I do not have to bang the pipe to bend around the starter. Welcome to another edition of Yacht Life. And today, we're gonna do a lot of shit. <laughs> Let's go. Everything under the car is done. Uh, the AC compressor, the starter, the sensor, the harness, the headers, the O2 sensors. I mean, everything is completely done. There's nothing left to do under there except drag it down and let it sit on the ground again and see how low these connectors actually are because I have no idea how low these are given that they are already lower than my subframe bar. And if you can see that, that's messed up. So let's hope that I can actually get some good out of this. Well, I finally got the car off the jacks. So she's sitting back down on the ground right about now. Let's get a four side shot. That's how she sits right now. And the headers are down there. Yeah, hopefully you can see them, but uh, they're there. Right there. It's a little, uh, it's a little low, but I shouldn't have any problems, especially once I get the mid pipes installed. That should be good. So, yeah. Okay, Google. Five point seven Hemi Serpentine belt. Google, answer for everything.
So, crazy enough, I'm still waiting on my coder intake to come in the mail. I'm a little upset that I got to put this stock box back in here. But it'll do for now. It'll do. It'll do. Xerox Geo 5 only. This is how I'm going to leave her until I get some oil and just a little bit more coolant for the whole process. But other than that, she's ready to rock and roll. She's ready to start. I mean, everything is here. Let's go. Cool.